Hello there, I'm Lydia Deacon. I work for the West Country Rivers Trust and I coordinate the West Country CSI. Today I'm going to run you through Cartographer, which is our online platform for entering surveys and highlight any changes that we've made. So this is the Cartographer homepage. If we go to login, we can enter our details and head to the West Country CSI homepage. Here you've got two options, so you can view the map or the survey. So let's go and have a look at the map first. Let's toggle our uh, menu off, so this is at the top left, just so we can get a good view of the map. And as you can see, it's been populated with all of our surveys. On the left here, we've got our attributes. So for example, if we click on phosphates, the map will change and it will highlight the phosphate values, highest being red, lowest blue, and the colours are in between. So we can zoom in. So we'll go to my area, which is viewed, and have a look. We can have a closer look at what's going on. So we can also have a look at total dissolved solids, for example, in the area. If we want to have a look at a specific survey, zoom in a little bit more, just click on the on the circle. It will give you distribution. You can have a look at the timeline. So if there's multiple surveys at that spot, it will give you a nice timeline. And you can have a look at photographs. So the map is really interactive and a great way to find out what's going on in the West Country or in your local area. Down on the right here, there's the zoom in and out, but there's also a satellite button so you can find sort of have a more detailed look at what's going on in your area. So when you're finished with your map, just toggle um, the menu on and go to surveys. At the top here, we have our, our filter so we can filter out our own surveys to have a look at. If it's a brand new survey or a new survey point, just go to top right here, add survey and it will give you a completely blank form that will be the same as your paper form. So enter a name of the stream. If you're not sure of the name of your stream, Magic Map is a good application to use online um, and it will give you names of rivers and streams. If you're still not sure, then you can always have a look at local landmarks and name your stream after that, as long as you keep it consistent. So National Grid Reference, you can either get that from your phone or from Grid Reference Finder or just use this map so you can zoom in, toggle to your area and again you can use the satellite view if it's easier. Personally I find this view easier because it shows the, the rivers very clearly. And zoom right in and then you can pop it on there and it will give you your national grid reference. As you can see I've got a uh, orange fields that's because I've not selected anything as soon as I select something it turns blue so that's a really good indicator to, to show that you've not filled out the form correctly if you've got anything orange if you have got photographs that's really useful so take a camera or a phone with you on your survey take photographs of the stream take photographs of any animals or wildlife you see um, that's really useful We've made slight changes to the general ecosystem observations. You can now select all that apply. So multiple, I could have parklands and gardens, and moorlands and heath, or even three tilled land, but go with the majority. So I know that my majority is parkland gardens. Same with vegetation cover. I can select multiple if I wish. We've added skunk cabbage to problem plant species and taken away algae. So um, spotted wildlife spotted, I spotted other. So when, when you click other, just make sure that you populate the box at the bottom there. And then with evidence of pollution, we've a added outfalls. So you might see an outfall that's completely inactive. You might see an active one and it might be causing discoloration or odour or one of the two. I know that I've got cattle stock access to the river, but no outfall. So evidence of recent pollution, this is where we've put algae. So anything that's smothering algae that's really taking over the stream. 
and then just populate your observation field so that's the, the width and the and the depth just from an estimate flow conditions and if you don't have your water quality kit just yet please just leave this blank until you do don't worry if it if it does highlight orange with the phosphate we have changed the units to parts per billion which is the units that you'll be reading off your phosphate strips so there's no conversion that's needed and to make things easy we've put tabs so if you read off 100 just click 100 and it will populate it for it for you you can edit this for example you might be tempted to put an in-between value if you're not sure of the colour however I'd urge you to just stick with the round numbers if possible and then finally predominant substrate and notes so anything that you have spotted or you're not sure about just pop it in the notes and I can get get hold of you once you're done click save changes so if we go back to surveys as I said we can we can filter out our own surveys now if we've got a, a new survey for an old spot just go to your old survey obviously you can't change anything but what you can do is click on this the copy survey button which is a really useful shortcut and it populates the survey with the the variables that won't change obviously you will need to just change anything that 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 does does appear you might found a, an, an another piece of wildlife or a problem part plant species that started growing so you will need to change a few things but otherwise it will save you a lot of time So that's it everybody i hope that's useful for you um, again if you have any questions please do email csi at wrt.org.uk any feedback is much appreciated bye bye